You excited for the trip? We are going. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Michelle. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. In today's video, hey, y'all, I had a hair appointment because I'm supposed to be going out of town tomorrow or today. It is like 1.30 and I booked the appointment months in or at least a month in advance so I wouldn't have any type of like issues or anything like that. Y'all, the girl thought that the booking was next month. So I'm scrambling. I'm trying to, my homegirl, she's trying to help me find a uh, hairstylist. Luckily, she actually had a hair appointment set for 5 p.m. and I was going to take it, um, but I didn't. So we ended up searching again. I ended up finding this girl on Facebook. Actually, we're Facebook friends. And she was very, very kind enough to do my hair. Y'all, I am grateful because I'm just like, damn, what am I about to do? Like, And I thought everything was like set. And I was just like, okay, all I got to do is get my hair done. And it was a disaster. But like I said, luckily we found this one chick. She ended up doing my hair. I showed her the style that I wanted. And she said it fit perfectly for like in her uh, in her time frame. Because I guess she didn't really have a lot of time. Um, but like I said, she was able to do my hair. And I'm greatly, greatly appreciated for her. I will list her link down below. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my hair just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but today was very, very eventful. And I know like we're in the era of like the retrograde and stuff like that. It was just so much shit that was happening today. First it was the hair, then it was the hotel, y'all. Um, I was trying to look for the confirmation code to like, um, so when I get to the hotel, I'm not like scrambling and stuff like that. Long story short, I could not find the confirmation code in my email. Um, but unfortunately, or no, not unfortunately, I couldn't find the confirmation code y'all in my email. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is everything just like not going right? Um, and then my sister was luckily able to get that situated. She ended up calling the, um, the company or she ended up calling the hotel and they finally seen that I did book with them but it just hadn't I think transferred over to them yet for them to view it because I actually did call them earlier trying to confirm to see if um, we still had a room there and the lady was saying that she didn't see my name on the um you know the check-in list I guess for tomorrow so Long story short, I ended up putting in the wrong email. Well, I put in the right email, but I added an extra letter into the email by accident. So that's the reason why I did not get the confirmation. But I'm just like, I remember I booked it like back in March and it definitely sent me something saying how I confirmed. So I don't know. It's, it was really weird. That happened. Um, it was just those two things, y'all. I was really going through it and... I was just like, oh my gosh, if they cannot find the confirmation, like we were trying to search online to see if we can like rebook with another hotel, but prices and hotels like skyrocketed. They went up like $600 a night, y'all. And then I'm like, damn, we have booked excursions, so we're not going to get a refund on that. Also, a lot of stuff was like booked for some reason. So I guess a lot of people are headed out there this weekend. Uh, so yeah. Like I said, today has been very, very eventful, but I'm gonna stop ranting on and I'm gonna show you guys my hair. I'm gonna go to bed for a couple hours because I am exhausted. Um, so yeah. So y'all, this is the hair. You know, the inspiration is Coil Red. Morning, you guys. So I'm putting some last touches on my suitcase and then I'm headed off to the airport. Are you excited for the trip? We are going. Ooh, I got into the camera. We are going to Puerto Rico. Okay. I am very excited. How do we miss the places? The disappointments. <laughs> so y'all, we are in Queens, New York, and we're trying to find some stuff to do because we missed our connecting flight to Puerto Rico. So we are on our way to the Bacardi factory. Are you excited? 
I'm very excited. <laughs> she doesn't seem like it, y'all, but she is. <laughs> So you said this is the first room? This is the first room because we are making cocktails. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yes, okay. yeah, so everybody take one glass. Grab the one that's the <laughs> Okay, so what you are drinking right now is called the Special Reserve. We own it's exclusive to us and we bottle it here. You know who bottles it? Yourselves. So, you have a nice little experience. If you want to try it, when you go to the store, you can ask for it and you can make your own bottle. It is a blend from 8 to 12 years in aging and um, it has only one filtration, so it's going to have a little bit of a punch. If you want to smell it correctly, don't smell from the center because oh, you're, okay. just, you're just going to get that alcohol punch in your face yes. and you don't want that. So, imagine your glass as the hours on a clock, so we're going to go 12 and so on and so forth. We're going to go top. When your um, nose is outside, then inside, one nostril in and one nostril out. And now for the tasting, you're not gonna go for a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy this rum because it is a $160 rum. So let's let's experience it. So you're gonna be taking a little bit and put it in the tip of your tongue and then extend it out to the back of your mouth. The elevator died. 
we're walking up the nine flights of steps and heels, like, 